Yeah. How y'all all welcome, Moon Graffon Show. Best day to work week cranks up again. It is Monday. What a beautiful day, too. What beautiful weather we're having throughout the state of Louisiana. It may warm up a little bit and then another cool front coming through, which you love to see them come through, man, after going through another hot summer. Actually, the summer wasn't too bad, really, when you think about it. It stayed so wet. Yeah. It kind of cooled thing down. The summer was bad because of the flood. I think I'd love Mondays more if we were greeted you, with weather like this every Monday. No, no, no. You love Mondays more because it's my best day to work with. You ought to love it just for that. I'd love Mondays more if they weren't actually Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get to Friday if you don't start on a Monday. You got to have a Monday. If Monday, if it may change Monday and Tuesday, would you hate Monday most? <laughs> then you'd hate Tuesday. If you made Friday, Monday, and Monday, Friday, you'd hate Fridays. Your best day would be Monday. <laughs> just the way it is. Come on, Como. I just I want to tell you what. Finding a producer that will agree with you, that's hard to find. <laughs> you could have been like Gully, he never agreed with me. <laughs> but he did have cold diet coke. There you go. <laughs> At a cheap discounted price. A discounted price. That's correct. Anyway, 844-766-6607. Hickson has it hotline. Don't forget my good friend Dallas Hickson has it.com. Check them out. All righty. Uh, so much going on. Jeff Landry being dogged again. Uh, by the John George advocate, which had really become a little poop poop pigeon for uh, Bell Edwards. I'll get to that. Hispanic man, men beat up a female Trump supporter. Yeah, you heard that right, Brandon. Uh, we, uh, matter of fact, we're going to post this at Moon Graffon. See if she po- Jennifer posted that, or I didn't have a chance to check it out. Uh, before we get to all that, and I've got a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, then they, they called Jeff uh, Landry an agitator. From guess what? The John John George newspaper, Common Core back in the news. Uh, some more global warming mess. Obama nutting up again. So we got so much in here. And by the way, they want males to quit being males. There's a class being taught, Brandon. They want you to get rid of your masculinity. Oh. <laughs> you can tell the people writing this article never been with a woman. But anyway, that's beside the point. Beside the point. A uh, couple quick things. You know. People that have been flooded, and, and folks, I'm telling you, I know for me and a lot of people, we're still praying for people. people a lot of people still in trouble. A lot of people are, are making progress. Some people are back in their homes. I got to tell you, I had a chance to watch, and it brings tears to my eyes, really, my father-in-law get back in his home, and uh, we went over that Saturday, and, and, and his son, Dwayne, and the family members have all been there for him, my wife and uh, Tanya's twin sister, and and her family and friends have been there to watch him. But he's 90 years old, and he's, he's uh, battling – uh, what is it, bladder cancer. He's been taking radiation, and his house got flooded, the house he built with his own hand 65 years ago. A lot of stories like that out there, but I'm just telling you one of them. And to see him smile, Brandon, we, they, we brought new beds, three or four new beds yesterday. And, and the beds were way higher than the ones he'd been, the mattress he'd been sleeping on for 50 years. You know, he's an old veteran. They just, that's the way they lived. And that's the, so anyway, when he, <laughs> that bed was about, it must have been 18 inches higher than the other, probably two feet higher. Because uh, anyway, the smile on his face to see the daughters bringing in buying new stuff. Cause, you know, oh, Papa, he uh, he's not a guy that goes out and buys a lot of new stuff all the time. He just does it, and everything has been replaced: new floors, new uh, rugs. I mean, the whole thing's been replaced. And uh, and to see him smile to go back in the home, he's ninety years old. And so every time somebody gets back in the home, that's another victory from by the grace of God. <clears throat> You know, God has been good. The Christian churches have stepped up. And there's other people that have stepped up. The Christian churches and people out of the churches stepped up tremendously during this flood. And uh, they should be commended. Now, look, they don't want us to vote right. They don't want us for anything else. But when things get tough, the church has been there. The church is in. The church I go to is answered. Uh, the, you mentioned before the Bayou right here in uh, Lafayette. But if you go all over the state, man, churches have stepped up. They're still stepping up. They still reaching out, and uh, that don't mean government didn't do its part too. And other people, I'm not saying that the average person stuff, but the churches really have. So I, did, I just when I saw the happiness of a person, in this case my father-in-law, moving back in his house, and I just thought, wow, the number of people that are back in the house, and the number of people that will be back in the house, whether it's the next week, month, or year, it, it's going to put a big smile on their face, and and they they're grateful. I mean, he was, he's grateful to everybody that helped him. Uh, and, and the people that, and you people that have reached out and helped him, I'm telling you, these people that are getting back in their homes are so grateful. They're so appreciative. And it just, it just put a smile on my heart to see that yesterday. I got a chance to just witness that. Uh, I know I was not the main guy going down there at all. 
but uh, his actually his son Dwayne was. But it's just a blessing to watch family members and loved ones step up to help another loved one. And there have been people out there her- helping uh, other people. The other thing is, former state trooper, it's been all over the news, Bobby Smith uh, has died at 66 years old. He was a he was a trauma counselor. He was also blinded. He was shot, uh, I don't know, 30, 30 years ago or so. I think he was 32, 33 years old and blinded. And I knew Bobby, and everybody in Everybody knows him all over the state. The state troopers really know him. I was personally friends with him for a long, long time. He ran for sheriff. People don't realize he had ran for sheriff. I think he came in third. I don't think he made the runoff, but he was an incredible guy. He actually lost a couple kids to car accidents. You know, think about being a state trooper. He was shot on a routine stop, blinded, and he never he never stopped living. He never stopped sharing. He was a gigantic Christian that believed in Jesus Christ which we all should, and he walked it and lived it. And uh, actually, Colonel Edmondson, who I'm not a big fan of, hired him back during the general administration. And uh, the state troopers know him all over. And, and Bobby, if he could, Bobby was funny. He can mess with you. He was, uh, but, but what he gave back after the tough time he went through in life, losing his sight, losing two kids in a car accident, he never stopped giving. Uh, apparently, uh, he died. Nobody knows. I, I hadn't heard how he died yet, but uh, he's no longer with us. But I just remember the state trooper, Bobby Bobby Smith, and I remember the guy, and I remember the man. And I remember we had Coach Robo, uh, Robo uh, show on here, and Coach Robo talked about the man, talked about being a man, manning up. He is right here. It's a good example of manning up, this guy right here. And he manned up, and he lived a life, and he, he didn't let things bring him down. He kept going. And the thing about it is he shared a lot with a lot of people. Personally knew him, uh, voted for him when he ran for sheriff. I knew the sheriff's guy, and I ended up voting for Bobby. Uh, you know, there was a little whispering campaign behind the scene at the time, you know, you know, not being able to see. He was blinded. He couldn't see. Uh, you know, people, that was everybody's favorite person to vote for, Brandon. But when they went to the booth, they decided that, I, I'm telling you why they didn't vote for him. Uh, it's because he couldn't see, yet he could see better than most people who had eyes because he saw with his heart and he saw with his mind. He was a great guy, and uh, he's going to be surely missed. I know the state troopers loved him for the most part. I don't know everybody loved him, but I think most people did. He was always encouraging because when they went through tough times, once again, I call them men in blue. Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. And by the way, the blue lives that matter are black and white. And this new culture now of we got a, an Obama that we got to create racism in everything. Bobby Jindal touched every, I mean, Bobby, Bobby Jindal, Bobby Jindal destroyed everything. Bobby Smith touched everybody. And if you, you knew him and you ever ran across him, you would not forget him. He spoke all over the country. I'm not sure he didn't speak all over the world, uh, uh, Brandon. I hadn't been in touch with him in many years, but was really good friends with him when we both lived in Washtenaw Parish. I think he was living in Baton Rouge at the time. But Bobby Smith, if you see in the articles, and you just said, yeah, I saw what somebody died, and Edmondson was making a big deal about it. That's who they're making a big deal about. Uh, my wife informed me the other night uh, when we was going to sleep. She was, I guess, looking at Facebook or the news or whatever, and she, she said, you know, Bobby Smith, you were friends with him. I said, yeah, I was good friends with him. And uh, he's going to be sorely missed by a lot of people. It's a shame, but he wore, the, he wore the blue uniform. He was shot in the eyes on a routine traffic stop. Routine. Like, no big deal, just pulling somebody over for speed. And look what he had to endure. And he endured a lot. And yet we got all the stupidity at the football protest league. And By the way, I did watch a little of the Saints yesterday, Brandon, but I watched them only because I was working in the backyard. I had to outdoor TV on, and I could hear it. So uh, I really didn't watch a whole lot. I watched, I watched, I, I actually caught a little bit of it because when the Saints, I thought the Saints were toast. Mm-hmm. And then they got a turnover and scored, and then they got another turnover and yeah. scored, you know. And I, I read the headline, you know, it's funny. The New Orleans papers, San Diego gave the Saints a gift. Look, it's the NFL. How many gifts have the Saints given away through the years? It was nice to get one back. It was nice to get one back. But I want to say this because you brought up the protest. The Saints have not taken part in that national anthem protest. Neither that has the Pittsburgh. Ne- neither has the Pittsburgh Steelers because they interviewed the coach. Matter of fact, I'm out there last night late. Mm-hmm. Maddie went out there and turned it to the yeah. NFL night game. So then I walked across. I was trying to wrap up for the day, and I looked in there, and they went and they was interviewing the coach, yeah. and he was saying how they didn't protest. Now, once he said why, I turned it off. I, I, 
I'm not watching that crap. Right. I mean, the press keeps it going. Uh, well, yeah. Well, one thing, one thing they did yesterday for the Saints-Chargers game is show the few Chargers players who are putting their fists in the air. It's, instead of the 99.9% of the people that are stand up. You see what I'm saying? And so the press – why do you think Obama won? The press is never, ever going to be honest and right and do the right thing. It's a propaganda machine. Now, I'm going to tell you, when the press is a propaganda machine, that's how people like Hitler and, and – and, and people like that come around because they don't tell the truth. They didn't tell the truth on Obama. He'd never been president. Man should have never been president. But that man should have never been around the president. And neither, neither should Hillary. I mean, these people are bad, and they won't promote or, or, or show the truth. That's why the press is done. I mean, if you're, if you're willing to pick up a Gannett newspaper and believe it, whew, it may can give you an idea of what's going on, but I'm telling you, they're slant against, like in Trump's case, they're all anti-Trump. Mm-hmm. Why are we voting for Hillary? Well, there's no reason to vote for Hillary. So what, you, what did I tell you? You've got, and I still believe this, Hillary already reached a peak. It's a matter of Trump can go a lot higher. Let's bring him down. And, and folks, when you, if you can't see that, I'm not going to say you're ignorant. I'm going to say it's because you choose not to see the truth. You can't help a person like that. You can't. All right, a lot of stuff to talk about, but pray for Bobby uh, Smith's family. God bless him. He lost two. Think about a state trooper shot and blinded and lose two kids on the road and drive an accident. I mean, but he was a great man of God, and he, he, he represented God in a great way. All right, take a break. 844-766-6607. Hicks and Hazard Hotline. We'll be right back. Back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. 844-766-6607. Hicks and Hazard Hotline. If you'd like to be part of the program, by the way, in the Sanctuary City, New Orleans, only only got six got shot this weekend. Had a good weekend. <laughs> Mitch Landrieu and, and people, and they're beating up Jeff Landry. Uh, just, I'll get to all that as a program. Post. By the way, I, I just came across this. Social media uproar as officers mistreated. I just went over Bobby Smith. Social media uproar as officers mistreated at Rappi's restaurant. Apparently a Taco Bell uh, in Kingsville section of Pineville on Thursday night around 1030. The second, there was two of them. The second one was reported at uh, Johnny Carino's restaurant on MacArthur Drive in Alexandria. And he goes on to say how they were uh, <laughs> basically refused to even start laughing at him, calling them pigs and stuff. When I got there from Pine Bay, police was standing. He flagged me, uh, flagged me to order ahead of him, and I could hear commotion in the background. The guy running the register, Jason, took my order, took my cash, and asked my name for the receipt. When then the officer stepped back, then he noticed that it was visibly agitated and annoyed. He said, I don't think I want to eat here tonight. I'm going to go someplace else. And uh, left and respectful and professional. Confused, he leaned over past the cashier. He took it into the back and could see the commotion. It was over a stuffed plush pig that several employees were playing with making squealing, squealing noises. Town Talk confirmed this in Pineville officer that the department has been advised of what happened. Actually, it was two different incidents. Social media has went crazy over this. Two officers dished at two, two different restaurants. You see what happens when you, when the community organizer becomes president, you see what happens when you start all this stuff that's, that don't need to be started. See what happens when you want chaos. See, if you go look at other countries, go read a little history, chaos is how Hitler came in. Chaos is how Videl Castro went in. Chaos is how the guy from Venezuela went in. And you go all over the all over the world. Chaos. They bring chaos. It never leaves. It gets worse. It gets worse. Total chaos. It's a shame, folks. I mean, <laughs> you say blue lives matter to the black lives matter crowd, and they 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 they'll go nuts. By the way, you see where they uh, uh, vandalized uh, Trump headquarters? You got to see. And by, Brandon, did you look at my Facebook to see if what was on there yet? They they had a they had an incident where these Hispanics are singing. By the way, I, 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 it was supposed to be put on there as it's not yet. The one the last thing that's up there is the the sign about. People growing up to be a president. Oh no no no, that's funny <laughs> too. No, that's they got it funny. But we'll get this one on here by this evening. And uh, it, it's amazing. Hispanic men beat female Trump supporters as they filmed it. What tough men we got in this community, huh? Hispanics 
men hollering and cursing, effing Trump, and we'll get it on there. They beat up a woman. <whistles> Tell you what, them Hillary supporters out there. You notice all of graffiti, all the violence coming out of the left, all the time. All the time. Never written about, never challenged, wanting to know why they don't calm some of their people down. They've been dying for somebody in the Tea Party to kill somebody or do something so they can publicize that thing all over the newspapers, but they don't publicize this. Hispanic men, they beat a female with a Trump sign. They beat and took the sign. That's some tough men. They're beating up women now. I guarantee they, I guarantee the chances of them being illegal are pretty, pretty heavy. And the president of the United States has done more for illegals and people that don't belong in this country than he has for inner cities and blacks and black lives. Way more. He really loves People that want to come in this country and create chaos. But the average black family in the United States of America, even in the cities, wants a better life for, them, life, life for themselves. He, re- he loving on the illegals way more than he loving on the inner cities. If you don't believe me, why don't they go film what's happening in the inner cities? Well, we got in a city in New Orleans that's shooting every day. Hispanic men beating up female Trump support in a yard steals her Trump sign. Then post a video online. I mean, they don't care because you know why? If you don't care about law and order, that's what you do. All right, let's go to Cornelius and Ellie. Cornelius, go. Cornelius, go ahead. Moon, Moon, I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I wanted to say, Big Mad Brand, he told me my Louisiana Tech team shouldn't have won, so uh, I got to start out with that. Should have been the Cajuns instead. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna get involved in between this fight. <laughs> yeah, you went to Northeast, so we, we don't need to talk about that. But um it's a shame the way they treated our police in Alexander and Pineville at these two establishments and stuff. I'm glad you brought that out. I'm sorry about the trooper that passed away too. Cause see I know you Moon, you support the police and you support the military and you support the flag. Yep. No doubt. All right, Connie has gotta run. Thanks. We gotta take a break. You're listening to the Moon Graffon Show. Hi, y'all. All. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline if you'd like to be part of the program. Before we go back to the call lines, Trump now says Sanders, Bernie Sanders could pull endorsements, endorsement of Hillary Clinton. Uh, Bernie should pull his endorsement of crooked Hillary after she deceived him and then attacked him and his supporters. Trump tweeted, Sunday evening. Now, Brandon, we have the audio of mm-hmm. what Clinton said about what uh, Trump's voters and Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders voters. So Notice what she says about free college in this leaked audio, by the way, because if you've been watching her campaign lately, she's, she's trying to give free college, right? Mm-hmm. That's what she's trying to do. So listen, and listen to how the long audio. is this, by the way? That's only about a minute and 40 seconds. Okay, listen to it, folks. It's important to recognize what's going on in this election. Everybody who's ever been in any election that I'm aware of is quite bewildered because there is a a, a strain of, on the one hand, a kind of populist, nationalist, xenophobic, discriminatory kind of uh, approach that we hear too much of uh, from uh, the, the Republican candidates. And on the other side, it, there's a it, just a deep desire to believe that you know we can uh, have free college, free health care. That what we've done hasn't gone far enough, and we just need to you know go as far as, you know, Scandinavia, um, whatever that means. And half the people don't know what it means, but it is something that they deeply uh, feel. So as a friend of mine said the other day, I am occupying from the center left to the center right. And I don't have much company uh, there uh, because it is difficult when you're running to be president and you understand how hard the job is. I don't want to overpromise. I don't want to tell people things that I know we cannot do. I want to level with the American people. And oh my God. Oh my God. be very clear about the progress I think we can make. Now, it won't surprise any of you to uh, hear me say that I think we can grow the economy, get back to more broad-based, inclusive prosperity. We did it in the 90s. We saw the results of having not only a lot of jobs, but incomes rising. All right, what a what a lie! I mean, she she learned lying. She taught Obama, and then she learned from him. 
Who's out there pushing free college? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is pushing free college. She did it in the debate. She's trying to make it sound like I, I, I'm not way out there like Trump or way out there Bernie. I'm in the middle of the road. Well, then she ought to get run over. <laughs> she ought to get run over by the voter. I mean, this woman has pushed free college and free health care. Obamacare is free health care to some. The real Obama and Hillary care would be one pay, one system of ration care. There's not a bigger liar in the race. Press don't want to go after just like they didn't vet Obama. They're not going to vet her. It's, it's, she's out there pushing free college. She's pushing it. Matter of fact, she said for people made, making under 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 120 or 125, they should have free college. She's been. It, it depends on. See, she goes to another place. She lies to that group. She goes to this place. Lies to that group. I mean, you talk about a liar in chief. Besides the one we got, just lie, lie, lie. The press never hits them on it. You know how many lies they can hit on Obama? They can hit 10 times a lie with this, this lady. I mean, she didn't, folks, free college. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as free college. You're going to pay for it whether you pay direct or you're going to pay for it uh, and higher taxes. You get a job when you get out of college and you got so much debt you can't even pay your loan back. So you give you free college and they up the taxes so much you get out and you go, well, damn, I got out. I'm making sixty thousand dollars a year, and I, I don't have but twenty thousand dollars to live on. That's what they that's what they headed at. This is the direction we're going to. Under Hillary Clinton. It's amazing to get on it. She throws Bernie Sanders people under the bus. Totally throws them under the bus, then backs over them three or four times. She's trying to run as just moderate. You heard I'm I'm left of center and right of center. I'm covering everybody. I'm covering the majority of people, and she's not. Wait till she get to pick a Supreme Court justice. Holy cow. Y'all have not seen a vindictive person yet at all, at all. You know, it's, it's, it's an incredible thing to, 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 uh, to watch. It really is. All right, let's go to Tom on the road. T. Tom, how you doing, sir? Doing good. I just want to say most of these people are weak-minded people to begin with because a lot of them come from other countries and places like that where all they've done is followed all their lives anyway. I mean, like the Mexican War, we call one Mexican, one war. I mean, they, they do what they're told to do anyway. And when they come from another country, they just find somebody to follow. Yeah, well, they're coming from a country. that mean, And they're not assimilating here. They really don't want what we have That's over right. here. And that, there's, your, there's your problem. They come over here. They used to see in protests, and they used to see in some of the chaos that's going on. They lived it every day. So to see it over here yeah. doesn't make a, you know. You think they won't, they would want better, you know, because they're trying to get away from it. But then in return, they come and, and find somebody else to follow and fall right in and, and do the same thing over again. Yeah, I know. And, and the thing about it, if you're not coming over to assimilate and coming over here legally, just like these people who are beating up these Hispanics. They, I'm telling you what the story said. This is not my term. Hispanic men, they beat up a woman. Boy, I tell you what, what tough men. Don't you think that's yeah. real tough? They beating up women. <laughs> yeah. and, and then still a Trump sign. This is the Hillary Clinton yeah. Obama voter. This is what they want. What, they, what, they want chaos, and they got it. it. What are we going to have to protect our country when it's all said and done? That's what's going to be the problem. But one of these other countries is just going to walk right through us. Well, you got they, – they, the left knows chaos and we can win. Chaos, we can win. And we've had chaos for the last eight years. Unbelievable chaos. Unbelievable lying to the American people. And people buy into because you have a propaganda machine called the press. Yes. It's an incredible Thank thing you. to watch. I tell you what, you can see if you choose to see. If you choose not to see, you can't see it. Eight four. That way, I'm not calling anybody ignorant, stupid, and dumb. I'm just saying if you can't see it because you choose not to see it. You know, Brian, if I walk out there and show you the green grass, beautiful green grass, and you tell me I don't see it, Brian, it's right there. You either colorblind or you choose not to see the green grass, and that's what most people do. Uh, somebody just wrote it's because of incidents that lead to, to, to Mr. Bobby. 
Smith being blind, other deaths, there no traffic stop should ever be considered routine. I agree with that. But I'm telling you how he described it to me. Uh, he's described it before. That routine trap. When I say routine traffic stop, you're right. The gentleman, that, the lady that just sent that to me is right. There's no such thing as a routine traffic stop because you don't know. But it was a stop that they figured a the guy was speeding, a lady was speeding, whoever. And uh, you would think it would be just a little simple. Let me see your license and you get a ticket. And that's, that's not what happened. You're right, though. Blue lives matter, though. I guarantee you, blue lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Say that in front of a Democrat Party stronghold and see what they think. Say that in front of a Democrat strong party, stronghold. Say that in front of Black Lives Matter. You know, it's, 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 this thing is going crazy. It's chaos. And people that love to live in chaos because they can do what? That's how they can control people through chaos. So we'll see what happens. Hillary is, uh, uh, you know, I just, I still think she can get beat, Brandon. I really think this lady can get beat. She can be beat bad. That's why the press is out there. No telling what they're going to say about Trump when it's said and done. And by the way, anything Trump says, they're taking it twisted. I've never seen anything like this since, I don't know, since the advocate was bought out by John George. We'll take a break and be back. You're listening to the Moon Graffon Show. 844-766-6607. Hickson has that hotline. Brandon, I just got this sent to me. Workers discover warehouse in Ohio loaded with ballots for Hillary already filled out. Uh-huh. Workers stumbled upon a warehouse filled with ballots already made out for Hillary in Ohio. Po- uh, poised to take that state by any means possible. This is very curious, and the story is still developing. But the 2016 election is going to be the biggest fraud attempt, perhaps political history. While computer projects, proje- uh, projects, a uh, projects, a Trump victory cannot distinguish fraud. It showed that Gore should have won the popular vote. The Supreme Court gave it to Bush when the voters were counted. The Supreme Court refused to wait for. It turned out that Gore would have won. The election may be no different. The real vote may be for Trump, but the corruption in Washington is so pervasive. It is highly questionable whether or not they will allow him to win. So stay tuned. Anyway, uh, I've got this. This is uh, ArmstrongEconomics.com. So I'll be curious to see if that that reaches anywhere else. So, you know, once again, the story that's sent to me, whether it's true or not, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I told you, if it's close. The only thing they can't steal it, but we always said the Democrats are still election, never, never bat an eye. Obama, and by the way, did y'all see the headline of Drudge? And by the way, I'm not going into this because I don't know. They got a picture of a light skinned black gentleman on there. I am Bill Clinton's son. I am real. There was no DNA test. <laughs> I mean, gee whiz. I'm telling y'all, for people to want to put a soap opera in the White House, I do not understand why people would do that. Why would you put a soap opera in the White House? This is a total soap opera since they came along. I mean, not a good soap opera at that, but you never know what day to the next what's going to pop up. Just don't. By the way, there's a study. USA fails to make the most free top ten list, Brandon. Also, Google, black people cannot be racist against whites. Gee whiz. It, it, uh, by the way, and Brandon, I didn't watch any football. I did watch a little bit of the Saints. Uh, you know, somebody, Jay, Jay put me, he was, I know he watches every play. So he laughed at me and he said, you are a bandwagon jumper. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't watching the Saints. I was working in my yard. <laughs> Man, he was on me. I just... You know, it's just, it's, just, it's just sad. It is what it is. All right. In serious news, air pollution is to blame for increases in road accidents. That's right, folks. Air pollution. Heavy pollution makes people drive more dangerously. According to the first study to link dirty air with road accidents. You see, folks, it's all about man-made global warming. We would not be getting as many wrecks. It has nothing to do with people over speeding. <laughs> it has nothing to do with people being in a rush. Or cell phones or whatever. Nothing to do with that. Air pollution is blamed for the increases in road accidents. Nothing else but air pollution. I'm just, just 
Letting you know, folks, that man-made global warming is getting us everywhere we turn. There's another great article on how the press has totally ignored the information on man-made global warming. Totally ignored the information that's out there. Uh, I mean, just totally ignored it. Just, just not even mess with it. When all the information shows the lies of man-made global warming, once again, the press, nobody nobody cares about it. They don't look at it. They don't print it. They don't put it out there. Here it is right now. New York Times refuses to publish climate gate hacked emails. New York Times once again under scrutiny for allegedly engaging in institutional hypocrisy about which private data it decides to make public by refusing to post the hacked emails that cast doubt on the scientists on a pro-global warming arguments. The conservative media research centers news bust to note in 09 that Times environmental reporter Andrew Refkin, whose article casts global warming scientists in a bad light, argued later in a blog post hacked documents from Britain's Britain appeared to have been acquired illegally and contained all manner of private information and statements that were never intended for the public eye, so they won't be posted. See, Brandon, they didn't want, they didn't want them to know about the lies. So since they didn't want them to know about the lies, they just said, you know, we're not going to post that. they picking and choosing what information they want to post, which is incredible. Uh, what? This is what happens. They print what they want to print. Because if they print it enough and say it enough and talking about it enough, the American person that's out there will not follow this stuff and they'll take it to be the truth. Brandon, there are people out there you can run into right here. That, I'm telling you, man, it's man-made global warming. It's the biggest issue going out there. How do you figure that? And they'll tell you about something they read once. And these people put this out there day and day and day and day and day out. They, they, the other thing to do, Brandon, which is, which is amazing to me, do you realize there are people on the left that want people imprisoned to have to shut it down and not say that man-made global warming, warming is not real? Yet there's, science, there's so much evidence showing that this is not real. But they want people arrested. They want people to go to jail. They want people to be, I'm telling you, to go to jail because you disagree with the premise of man-made global warming that we can cause all this to have a problem in the United States of America and the world. To go to jail. You can't have free speech in that. Yet they can't prove that it's true. But they want people arrested. I don't want nobody arrested for Black Lives Matter unless they do something illegal. They can go protest all they want to. You know? I don't think Colin Kaepernick should be arrested. I just think he should be kicked off the team. And number two, I think the press ought to not follow him and anybody else that's kneeling down for the national anthem. Matter of fact, uh, is it Bob Costas? Last night, I told you, I was watching a little piece. He was talking to the head coach of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. and said, we have not talked about this from a uh, team perspective. He, they, they've come ask me what I thought they should do, and I told them. But he, they said they noticed nobody protests with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're saying the Saints hadn't done it either. No, and I think that's the only and, – and the Saints, what I thought they – what they did again when they played Atlanta was after the national anthem, they had a moment of unity where they all stood hands in the middle of the field where you could pray and do whatever you wanted with the Falcons. I thought that was incredible. I thought that was a great but, thing but to now, do. Now, there was a quote. I haven't seen it yet about what Jerry Jones told his team. Mm-hmm. Now, now, is this – Make believe or true? What did what are, what are they reporting that Jerry Jones told the Dallas well, Cowboys? Saying, that may be true. It may not be true. We don't know. Well, what they're saying is, and a caller had uh, mentioned this to us earlier, that Jerry Jones had uh, reportedly told his team, "If you don't want to stand for the national anthem, you're no longer going to be a cowboy." Well, I hope he did because they're America's team too. I, I really, really hope he did. Between you and me, you know that's American flag on the back of every NFL helmet. You do know that, huh? Like on the back of Kaepernick's, they ought to strip the American and put like the Iranian logo right there, maybe, or uh, Iraq, or maybe uh, Russia. It'd be a nice flag for his. And then we know the enemy. We would know the enemy, no doubt about it. And Rush Limbaugh reported it on his show, by the way, as well, where he said that he quoted Jerry Jones saying, my players are going to stand for the national anthem. My players are going to stand. They the should. By the way. They did, should. Yes, sir. Did you see this? Let me see. <laughs> Since you were talking about Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> we got to put this. You got to send it to me. Brad has got <laughs> a picture of three San Francisco 49ers kneeling. And the caption says, three players kneeling, 
One for each loss. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the Cowboys beat them yesterday. Uh, uh, good to see that. And uh, they may bring Kaepernick back on Thursday night uh, NFL game. If they do, you can bet to sure I will watch that. That's for sure. I hope I, I hope I forget it's on. I got a busy Thursday. Matter of fact, there's a chance I'll be at a high school football game Thursday night. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm not saying I'm going to, but I'm hoping to be at a high school football game, which will make sure I don't watch that. I wanted to see that. By the way, New Orleans area, weekend crime news. Only six shot in a violent weekend in New Orleans. That's all. Just only six. So, you know, Mitch Landrew doing the job down there. Uh, it's just over and over again. Black Lives Matters are not there to protest this. You're not going to see Colin Kaepernick going down to New Orleans and checking on why people are shooting each other. And it's a rough area to uh, – a rough area in New Orleans again. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, and 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 the people in this area are going to probably vote Democrat again. And when they vote Democrat again next year, it'll be the same type of shootings under Hillary. It's all under Obama. And all this chaos under the president that was going to bring everybody together. And what do you see what Obama said about Trump? And it all started with people wanting Sarah Palin. It's like, we are the people that are doing this. We are the and it's not. And by the way, uh, there was illegals in a New York school year started. Only four, four people were shot or killed from a uh, once again gang members that were from Central America illegals. Violent gang men expect killing of at least four high school teenagers in one suburban New York community. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline if you'd like to be part of the Moon Graffon Show. It's your opportunity to be a voice, folks. Always right here, whether you agree or disagree with the good-looking hosts. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just, I mean, I can, I can say that if I want to. It don't mean it's true. <laughs> I got, I got a uh, Kathleen Willie, who is the uh, young lady that uh, Hillary beat up during an affair with uh, Bill Clinton. She says Bill Bill Clinton's transactions. Uh, this is no longer about his transaction infidelities, a girlfriend, or sex. It's not about that. What it's about is the action that his wife, that'd be Hillary, is taken against the women that he has raped and assaulted. Okay. Uh, and it's no doubt who went after her. It was Hillary. A mistreating treating of women, you know, because they were in a powerful position. Nobody could get them. You know, you can't attack Hillary for things Bill did. You can attack Hillary and challenge her for what she did to these women. And it's, it's out there for people to look at. It's out there to see that Hillary went after them like you wouldn't believe. Hillary talks about women and doing this, but she went after women that got in the way of her husband being president of the United States and staying president. But you can't tell that to a Clinton and Obama supporter. That's, they, they, they're just not going to look at anything. They're not going to look at the facts of anything. It's just we got to understand that. That's, that's all part of it. That's part of the process. That's part of the political process uh, of electing somebody you can trust. You know, and, uh, you know, this election is down to four weeks from tomorrow, Brandon. Four weeks from tomorrow is the election. And tell me I'm wrong on my dates, and I may be. But I think, I think it's four weeks from tomorrow. I hadn't, I hadn't pulled up a calendar. That sounds about right, though. Well, maybe five weeks. Uh, let, let, me, let me see. I got my calendar right here. I want to count, too. It's four or five weeks. I may be off a week. Five. It's, it's five. five? It's five weeks. Yeah, it's four. Four okay. weeks in October and one week in November. Five summer. weeks away, folks, to elect a new president of the United States. Five weeks. This is close. By the way, vice presidential uh, debate tomorrow. I'm gonna check. That I, out. I, I'm gonna try to check it out mm-hmm. too. I'm I'm hoping to stop and uh, and watch some of it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I watch it all, but I'm curious to see. I don't know anything about this Kane. I know he's a left, as a true environmentalist. Uh, I don't know anything about him. I read more about Pence than I have about him. And uh, oh, did y'all see this Wall Street Journal's reporting? Gun show customers' license plates come under scrutiny. Federal agents enlisted local police to scan car plates at shows' parking lots. 
Federal agents have persuaded police officers to scan license plates to gather information about gun show customers. Government email shows raising questions about how officials monitor constitutionally protected activity. Can you believe that? Emails reviewed by the Wall Street Journal show agents from the Immigration and Custom Enforcement Agency crafted a plan in 2010, okay, to use license plate readers, devices that record the plate numbers of all passing cars at gun shows in Southern California, including one in Del Mar, not far from the Mexican border. I, I mean, that, that's, that's incredible that you would go now to law-abiding citizens. See, we're more worried about the law-abiding citizens. Why don't we do, why don't we run down some license plates in, the, in some of these other places? Why don't we run them down where we know the drugs and the gangs are? Hmm? Why don't we do that? No, 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 no. Law-abiding citizens at a gun show to purchase guns. And what we're going to do? We're going to make them the bad people. We have flipped everything. What's good was bad. Now what's bad is good. You know, lying is good. Cheating on your family is good. Stealing's good. Vote stealing is good. Okay? Being in poverty is good. Being hung up on government, Obamacare is good. You know? All this other stuff's bad. Doing for yourself? Being an individual? Having a gun? For God's sakes, a gun? Oh, you can't do that. That's for the criminals and the thugs. They flipped it all in people's eyes. They, they trusted it in this. They're going along with it because they couldn't do it if we wanted to stop them. Now, I got to believe most people in law enforcement don't want to do this. I think they're going to do whatever job they're told to do. It's, uh, I just, can you imagine going to a gun show and somebody is out there taking a shot of your license plate? They could drive through. Every city in the United States of America found license plates on cars that were involved in something last night, but they don't. Incredible. Gun shows. Customer license plate. Like, in other words, you are guilty because you go to a gun show. You're guilty when you believe in Jesus. You're guilty when you vote Republican. You're guilty if you're conservative. You're guilty if you're a Tea Party man. Guilty. Boom. Guilty. You a thug? <laughs> Go ahead. Come into the country. Do whatever you want to do. You a thug? You cool. <laughs> you, you're cool. Being a thug is cool. Being a guy that gets married and has two kids and works hard and builds you a business? What a no account mother, father, sister, brother you are. It's, it's not cool to get up and go to work every day. It's not cool to teach your kids right and wrong. It's not cool to get them at school. What's cool is kids that drop out. That's cool. What's cool is not standing up for the a Pledge of Allegiance. That's cool. According to the press, that's cool. You know, everybody likes to be cool. You don't want to be squirrely. You mean to tell me you don't have a kid out of wedlock? That ain't cool. You don't have an earring. You don't wear tattoos on your butt. <laughs> and you ain't cool. You go to church? What? You can believe all that stuff? You gonna work hard? Why you gonna work hard? Help us get the minimum wage up. Then you go out and you ain't gotta worry about working hard. Yo, you want them you in the oil and gas industry, or you destroying the planet. All those people. I think of all the people in our state and other states that made a living in the oil and gas industry. That became wealthy or just a good middle-class person that worked 30 years in the business, retired, put their kids through school, did what was right. You're the bad guy now. You're the bad guy. Still on the Trump sign? You cool. <laughs> Not still on the Hillary sign? What's wrong with you people? Why aren't y'all doing this? They flipped it on us, folks. What's good and moral? Get God, Jesus, out of here. Sharia law, bring it in. In the Sharia law, you got to have five witnesses to prove that you were raped. That's cool, right? Women are treated like dogs. They can't go anywhere unless their husband let them go. Hillary Clinton takes a lot of money from those people. That's cool. You know? That's, that's what they're telling us. We're buying into it. You know? 
Well, take an American flag at a football game in America? Are you crazy? That's, that, you can't do that. American Legion, the flag stands for racism. and all, I mean, this is crazy. All led by the top of the ticket. Nothing's cool. It's cool when you don't serve a police officer. When you shoot a police officer, that's cool. Shooting a thug? White or black? Ain't cool. Hold up just a second. We need to know why you shot him. So, folks, what do you want to be, cool? If you want to be cool, the country's going to take a nosedive like you couldn't believe. And everybody's going to wonder one day, what happened? See, I don't, I, I don't want to believe that. I'm the most optimistic person in the world. Always have been. I want to believe we're going to get better. We're going to come out of this craziness. I don't want to be cool. I got to tell you, I don't want to be cool. If coup is supporting thugs over policemen, I don't want to be coup. And by the way, I don't care if you're black or white. If coup is saying all black lives matter and nobody else matters, that I'm not going to be coup. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm not going to be too coup. If standing up for the national anthem ain't coup, then put me in as not being coup. But I know I'm coup. But I'm, you know what I mean? They're kind of coup. Don't you come in and say anything. I'll pour some of this <laughs> Diet Coke on you, girl. <laughs> By the way, do not talk with a mouthful. <laughs> I had to throw that in, Bertie, oh. before I get burned here. I almost I'm fell all out of that. my chair. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's so good. By the way, I, I say it like that because of Jackrabbit across the way. I told you what I told you. <laughs> I got to blame him. He's the producer. You know, everybody, that's right. Some, by the way, if you don't blame somebody else for your problems, right? if you don't do that, you can't be cool. So I want to be cool. So I'm blaming Brandon for all my problems. <laughs> well, all of my sorrows are because of you. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. That's the cool thing to do. Because you're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you that laughing. I saw you that laughing and I thought. I you thought, should see you know the what text th- messages between Brandon and you I. You should have about to say. I thought you were laughing. I thought you were laughing at Brandon. Hell, you're laughing at me. That's cool, by the way. Because it was cool. That ain't no food. <laughs> no, that's the y'all problem. Went to school. It, it might be a food. All right, we got to take a quick break, and y'all can that tell me. That's not the room. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, y'all can tell me how cool I am. How'd you tell me I'm wrong on anything I said? I want somebody to tell me I'm wrong on anything I said. Beating up women and taking a Trump sign is cool if you're an illegal. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. All cool. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Welcome back to Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. By the way, we heard a, a third congressional district ad uh, and, uh, going after Scott R. Jail. I, I think it was a great ad. It was right on the money. It was 100% on the money. You know, you got so many good people in the uh, that, that congressional district. They do not have to go with the lifetime politician who's never going to change anything. You know? Just it was it was good to hear the truth. I mean, it just it, really good. Anyway, eight four four seven six 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 zero seven. Hickson has a hotline. Let's start off with Greg in Marksville, Louisiana. Greg, how you doing, sir? Hey, I'm all right. You can hear me well. Yes, sir. You sound good. All right. Well, I figured out our problem is it's like that old Superman comic book, and I've stated this before. We're in Bizarro World. <laughs> Well, I know this. When you when you when you, when you flip, it's <laughs> biblical. When you flip everything that's evil and bad, make it good, and what's good and wholesome, you make it bad. Just like I told you earlier in the program, the Christian churches are what step are the people that stepped up. Unbelievable, and I'm bragging on them. Unbelievable to well, help they, people. Unbelievable to help people. Yet we we kick God out. We we always down them. The right wingers. These people are you know we, but they're the people stepping up. Yes, sir. Well, you know, um, uh, we, you know, it ought to be just a telltale sign when the, the man that ran for president ran for president of the Democratic Socialist Party. If you go look that up, that's what he ran. Also, a really good book called 19, from, from 1958 called The Naked Communist, and it'll tell you how that's all been decided, you know, a long time ago, how they were going to infiltrate, you know, the system. And well, you, gotta, you know, they, 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 they can't infiltrate us. Unless we allow it. Under this president, we've allowed it. This president loves illegals. He loves people that come over here that don't want to assimilate, that don't love this country. He, he's allowed them to come here, and yet 
He didn't help anybody in the inner cities. He didn't help any blacks, whites, greens, or yellows. Never has, never will. It's a shame. Uh, yes, sir. But, by the way, that's the a right, plan from a long time ago, though. <laughs> yeah, but but you got to have the right person to do it, and the right person to oh, do right. it is he in is, there, and the one true. to keep it going is coming. It, it has a chance to win. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Well, what our problem is is I hate to say it, but uh, white people don't vote. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do this time. Thanks. Appreciate the call, man. Well, By the way, Breitbart's reporting Virginia election officials are enabling illegal registration. Once again, President of the United States, who runs Virginia, a leftist that was with the Clintons, they care more about illegals coming in here. They help them stay in power than they do inner city kids. They, they care about that more than inner city education, How about inner city families. They dropped 400 million cash to Iran. They ain't dropped 400 million cash in New Orleans. Folks, I, they, they can, nobody can argue with me on that because, you know, it's true what I'm saying. They've helped the illegals come here more than they tried to help what was going on in the cities. And they put Black Lives Matter out there for the presidential campaign. And then we can stir up everything. You got illegals picking up signs. Suspected gang members darken start a school year in New York community. From Central America, from Central America, killed four people. I wonder how they got here. I think the last few years we let a lot of people from Central America come across. Oh, that was a story. I, God, I wasn't able to print it. Where one person that came across during Obama's open border policies, they caught, and he he ended up killing somebody. Virginia election officials don't seem to care that thousands of foreign aliens have corrupted their voter rolls by illegally registering to vote. Telling you folks, it's all left and demo. We think this is normal. What ain't normal is uh, the Tea Party. What's not normal is Christian coalition. That's what they don't think is normal. The former Department of Justice law and now the president of public interest legal finance, even worse than doing nothing about it, they're trying to cover it up. Breitbart News. Even a small amount of illegals voting can make a dif- decisive difference. Democratic Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring defeated Republican uh, in 2003 by 165 votes out of 2.2 million that was cast. But in eight, of the, uh, eight out of 130 plus Jurisdiction to provide us with a list of aliens recently removed from the voter roll. We discovered that 31 non citizens had cast a total of 186 votes between 05 and 2015. This is just a fraction of the aliens caught in just eight counties in the state, where over 130 counties. Even with a small sample size, the number of aliens who got a voter rolls is staggering. The aliens are casting ballots in the state where elections have been decided by a few hundred votes. Folks, the left don't care. The left is they more the socialist Marxist side. Get in charge, and they can do what they want. Hillary wins. The Supreme Court is going to be hell. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's it's uh it's going on, folks. It started. By the way, we do start voting in a, in a four weeks, Brandon, because you do have uh, absentee. You know what I'm saying? Early voting starts in a month. Uh, you were right on election, or it is five weeks from the election day, but early voting here starts in four weeks. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how all that breaks down. All right, we've got to take a break. More to come. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. Take a break. Be right back. Hi, y'all. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Great to have you with us. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. Don't forget walk-ons. Official sports bar. Of the Moon Graffon Show, it's a lot more than a sports bar, folks. If you've got kids, you can go sit around outside, watch TV. Ball teams can come through. It's a lot of fun. The food's really good. Walk-ons do a great job. Drew Brees, as he said, I want to invest in something I can bring my kids to. And they can. The kids have a blast. Suspected game violence, dark and start a school year for New York community. That's right, folks. International criminal gang from central Louisiana. I'm sorry, Central America, not Central Louisiana. Majority of gangs composed of Central Americans, active in urban and suburban areas in the United States. Hey, we're not filming their cars and getting their license plates down, are we? Hmm, We're trying to register them suckers to vote. (laughs) We're trying to register. We're going to go after the good people, the good citizens like the Tea Party. Taxed enough already. 
and all of a sudden became a racist thing because Democrats and leftists, they just, they have their labels, they pop in you, and the press runs with it. It's, uh, it's a shame to watch, but it's what's going on. What, listen to Harry Reid, folks. I want you to listen to Harry Reid. This is how bad this has gotten to be. Harry Reid, what is this, the CIA? He wants the CIA to lie to Donald yeah. Trump, basically? Yeah, he be, and, and you'll hear him point blank say it right here. Because he's the nominee for the party. Uh, and he gets, he's entitled to briefings from the CIA, for example. I told, I said publicly, give him fake briefings. Pretend you're briefing him. Don't tell him anything. But as a Republican nominee, isn't he entitled to get those briefings? Give him fake briefings. What does that even mean? It means they'll tell him stuff. He won't know the difference. You're basically telling the intelligence community to lie to him. No, no, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to lie to you, but I just don't have to tell you everything. That's Harry Reid, big Obama yeah. supporter, gigantic oh. Obama supporter. But they lie. Hey, they lie when the truth would be better. Now we need to know the definition of what a lie oh, is. Oh, no, absolutely. It's like what he is, he is what a lie is. No, what he's going to say what a lie is, he said it's not a lie if you don't tell him everything. See what I'm saying? Just leave all that out. But, he, but what did he say before that? Fake briefings, that means lie to him. I trust Trump way more than I trust Hillary or the president. Way more. It's not even close. They didn't beat... Brandon, I'm telling you, with five weeks to go, how much beating up on a human being you can do, you can ready to watch. You think they were bad on Bush? <laughs> and look, the woman they could be bringing down to her knees is running on a Democrat ticket. People were killed on her watch as Secretary of State. Killed. They got people livid with her.